Hello and welcome to a new chapter in my early Game Gear Witcher 3 series. This is the third and final chapter. We played the base game with the Warrior's Leather's Jacket and the Viper Swords that I got very early in, in White Orchard. And then I played the Hearts of Stone DLC with the same gear. And now we are about to embark on the Blood and Wine DLC with the same exact gear and we're playing on Death Marsh difficulty and uh, yeah I have never played Blood and Wine before so this will be a pretty much a blind playthrough for me I've stayed away from like watching videos or anything I think I've seen trailers so I know there's like some vampires involved and I have also seen that your ability tree changes somehow but I'm not I haven't looked into it but I have seen like screenshots of the ability tree Tree uh, being altered or changed, so I'm looking forward to that because uh, uh, using the early game gear, the armor really hasn't made much of a difference. You know, because on Death March you you die pretty quick no matter what armor you're wearing. It seems like, but the damage I I do with my swords is not a lot, so sometimes it will take me a long time to kill just regular enemies, and some boss fights are uh, become epic and long and uh, it's just a matter of like wearing them down and uh, not being hit enough to uh, to where they kill me I uh, early in the game I enchanted my armor to uh, make it all lightweight gear so I get better critical hits and in the last series the Hearts of Stone DLC I made a couple of invigoration swords so that any extra healing I do gets turned into added damage because the name of the game in this is to do as much damage as possible okay and here we are at the stonecutters village where the, the blood and wine DLC is going to start I inadvertently came here very early in the game and I got absolutely destroyed by the uh, bandits that show up to attack the village which is going to happen very soon um, but I just, I died, so I never went back, and, uh, now we're here, we should hopefully, we should hopefully be able to, uh, you know, survive a crossbow hit. I think I, uh, was one shot, was the problem, but I was only like level 10 or something, and now I'm level 39, so I should be able to survive a, uh, crossbow bolt to the chest, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is go talk to the owners of those fancy horses, and they're in one of the buildings here. Uh, let me just show you my build real quick. Just in case you're new to my series and you haven't been watching other my other videos. Yeah, I have the Viper Steel Sword and the Viper Silver Sword, which I got very early in White Orchard. Uh, when I was like level 8, I went to the Ophiri Merchants and I had them add slots. And then I enchanted them. Although the Invigoration Enchantment, I didn't start using that until... The Hearts of Stone DLC. Early in the game, I mostly used the Viper, uh, the Viper swords with uh, the Marana runestones for poisoning, or like I used some of the ones that burn the monsters. Those worked pretty good. But I'm finding now the Invigoration enchantment works really well if you pair it with like a Swallow. All that extra healing goes into damage. I don't remember where I get this crossbow, but that's the crossbow I've been using. Uh, Adrenaline point gain, 200% attack power. The crossbow I haven't used really that much. Here's the Warrior's Leather's Jacket. You start the game with a Caremoran armor, and you can upgrade it one time to the Warrior's Leather's Jacket. I, I put the Levity enchantment on it so that all my equipped armor items are treated as light armor. Otherwise, all this starting gear I think is medium armor. And I'm, more, I'm looking for critical hits and... Uh, and so the light armor gives you a lot more critical hits. Um, yeah, and then I put, I made slots and everything, and I put Quen sign intensity in there. Uh, King of the Swineherd's Crown, which I got in the the, uh, La the Hearts of Stone DLC. Yeah, Ophiri, I got Ophiri gear for Roach. And uh, yeah, that's my fancy my fancy gear for when I need to like go to a party or whatever. And then I'm just carrying around extra stuff that. Uh, I, I haven't been using for a while. I'll probably ditch it because I'm going to go with the, the Invigoration Sword for a while. 
Um, there's no need to carry these swords all around. I'm pretty much, I'm happy with these new swords. So yeah, here's my current, uh, my current ability uh, tree. Um, you can see I got all attack power mutagens because I want to make as much uh, damage as possible. Uh, resolve for the adrenaline point loss. Uh, muscle memory, which is fast attack. And the precise blows, which is uh, fast attack critical hits, which is good. We got Whirl, which I didn't even open up to uh, the House of Stone DLC, but that comes in very handy when you're surrounded. Um, and I, I like it. Uh, so I've been using it quite a bit lately. Uh, gourmet, you eat food and it lasts for 20 minutes. The cat school technique makes all your armor m do more critical hit damage when it's light armor. Synergy, adaption, that makes my mutagens last longer. Tissue transformation makes my health go up by a thousand. The oils uh, guards against whatever oil I have when I'm fighting a monster. Heightened tolerance, acquired tolerance. They just both raise up my uh, my vi my uh, toxicity level. And uh, yeah, I have poison blades too. But I'm not using it right now. Uh, I've I have respect my character a few times at, out of necessity. So we'll see if I have to do that again. If I put some uh, green greater green mutagens in those slots next to these green ability trees, I would get a, a gigantic vitality boost, but Right now, really, it, uh, the attack power is way more important than the uh, vitality. I'm doing pretty well in that regard. I mean, if I hit it like three times, I'm and, by, and most most of the time I'd be like dead. So I gotta like uh, I have to like be careful in that regards. Um, I think I am gonna put poisoned blades in this time because I'm gonna be ha being attacked by a lot of humans, and uh, with the hangman's venom, maybe I'll poison a lot of them. And that will really help. Um, so yeah, I think we're all set to go talk to the two gentlemen in uh, the building over here. So let's go see what's up. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin, I told you, the griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Perrin and Palmerin de Lonfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These planterers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but... Do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Okay. Uh, uh, I can help you get rid of the bandits. Maybe more bandits will come. You never know. Bandits gonna bandit, but uh, I feel like we should kill these bandits. Maybe send a message, and maybe no more bandits will come. So uh, yeah, let's kill these bandits, and then tell me all about why you're here to see me. So, plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmanon wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. They're coming! Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. 
Let us go out to greet them. <laughs> he mean us? I, Palmer and Delonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> <laughs> right, good jest, that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off or we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, <laughs> wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> I doubt it matters what I say here. Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's afeard of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. All right, now let's see how fast I get my ass kicked this time. <laughs> Should probably put on some uh, hangman's venom. And maybe some decoctions seems like a good way to go. Sure, why not, right? I went with the Echimera decoction and the Catacan decoction. Catacan for more critical hits. Echimera for uh, whenever I cause damage, it heals me. Right. There's a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> and we can burn some. You guys burn. The horses are trying to help out by kicking them in the face. There are a lot of people with bows. I'd like to kill them first if possible. Right now there's a lot of people on fire. I'm just gonna let them burn. There's a guy with a bow. What you doing there, bow boy? They're going down pretty good. I got him poisoned too. I think this one's pretty much toast. Yeah, he's dead. Ooh, hey, who's firing? Gotta watch out for them crossbows. They do a lot of damage. All right. Be careful, there's a bunch of them. Got him poisoned, that's good. The more poisoning we can do, the better. Give a little whirl. There we go. This one, I might be able to kill this one just with poisoning. Let's see. Oh! There's two, at least two guys with bows. Here's one. Maybe we can take him out right here and now. Yeah, he's done. Alright. Still got a bunch of them. The horse is uh, trying to help out, but it's not doing a very good job. Alright, this guy's going down pretty quick. It for him. I gotta put on some more uh, Hangman's Venom. This guy's got an axe. Ouch. 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 
Let's let you guys burn a little bit. That'd probably kill one of them anyway. Yeah, one of them's dead. The rest of you guys want to catch on fire? Come on. There we go. This guy ran right through the fire. What's up with that, bro? Must have your asbestos underwear on or something. It's too late to surrender. There we go. Is another one done? These guys are not too much health left. This guy should go down pretty quick. He's poisoned too. There we go. Now this guy with a shield and an axe. Oop, oh, poison. That's good. Oh, behind me. Darn. That guy with a shield is dead from poisoning. That's good. These guys are both poisoned and going down pretty quick. Alright, little whirl there. There we go. They're dead. How many more are left? Don't put your sword away yet, Geralt. There's one guy with... Pretty good armor on and a shield. That might be the leader. Ouch! There goes my health. This guy has hardly any health left. There we go, he's dead. Oh that guy's named. Yeah, he's the he's the boss or whatever. His name is Zorg. Alright, so there's Zorg and at least one bandit left. And then, of course, the two uh, two knights from Toussaint. We'll take this guy out, and then we'll go help. We'll go help kill Zorg. Oop. Yeah, my world. That was a really good job there. This guy's poison. There we go. A couple more hits should do him right in. That would be, be great if you drop that shield. Guess you're not gonna though. Yeah, he's got a good handle on that shield. I thought if I got his stamina down enough, he would drop the shield, but uh, I can't get his stamina down enough. And then he just he nails me. <laughs> Damn, dude, die. He's poisoned, so he's probably going to die, hopefully. You're going to die? There you go. Good job. All right, let's go finish off the boss here, Zorg. How's it going, Zorg? Um... Maybe we get him to drop that shield, and you can get some good hits on him. Yeah, now's the time to hit. There you go. There you go. I'll just keep, I'll just keep putting a spell on him, and you guys can nail him when his shield's down. How's that sound? There you go. Do it some more, guys. Yep. That's right. There you go. Good job. Try it again. There we go. Look at that. Oh, up on the roof, you got him. That's good. This is going. A little, this is a little strange right now. There we go. Is this it? Finish him. Take him. Do it. Do it. There you go. Why do they not emerge? It is over. We have banished the scoundrels, lifted oppression's yoke from their lives. Warned you it'd be like this. Fear you as much as they did the bandits now. Sorry, no fanfares and flowers. You're not in Toussaint. Ah, it is true what folk claim. In the north, no noble deed goes unthwarted. It is time to go home. And we shall, my friend. Come, Geralt. It's time we delivered our message. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... Is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters and all Ifils nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Whereas never have you been known to deny help to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood, and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. 
Thus humbly beseeches you the Star Cross City's most gracious protectress, Her Illustrious Highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Uh, hell yeah, but let's find out some more information first. Anna Henrietta really say all that? Word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how it is. <sighs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to verify with her illustrious highness. Alright, tell me more about this beast. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses, the bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. Whoa, look at all these options. Tell me everything. Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below, where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor hurt, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's Errand, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. I will definitely take the contract. Let's do it. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. Ah, <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Mm, ...demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent! We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! A few days later, the Duchy of Toussaint. It's very lush looking, that's for sure. Toussaint, the land of fluff and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. Whoa, it's gorgeous. You will find Beauclair has changed some these past years. Walk about when you have the chance. You will see for yourself. To me, place always seemed straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. 
You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Whoa, what is that? What is that? Uh oh. Dang. Whoa. <laughs> that is like a giant or a cyclops or something. Whoa. Whoa, with a gigantic mace. Whoa, watch out. Looks like we're gonna fight it. Oh, oh, the poor Horus. Cool hat, like a barrel for a helmet. Oh, my potion just got restocked. Um, so I guess this guy would be an ogroid, maybe? I'm guessing. I think giants and stuff are ogroids. So let's start with that. And we'll probably do the regular decoctions. Echimera and Catacan. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Golly, Goliath, is that his name? Ooh, he's got a cool spin attack. Ooh, and a bludgeoning attack. Ouch, he kicked me in the gut. Okay, he's got a, a stomp attack. Ooh, ouch. Whoa! <laughs> you do pretty good damage to him. Uh, it'd be great if I could get like a poisoning in on him. Oh, we got a poison. Good. And it's doing thousands, thousands of damage. That's good. Ouch. Whoa, watch out. Whoa. Alright, good, good. We got him about halfway down. He's still poisoned. Now he's a third, a third of his health left. It's going, it's going well. Watch out. Okay. Still poisoned. Health's going down very quick. Nice, nice. Alright, he might be gonna die real soon. Ouch. Alright, the poison I think is gonna get him. Yep. Alright, good. Watch out for the sheep! Dang. Big beast. Tackling it single handed? None too wise. Neither is love born of wisdom, Witcher. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth? The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me about this giant. A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but <laughs> one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. Huh. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. Sure, I'll take the trophy. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. 
The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform Her Gracious Magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney Grounds. I shall take you then to see Her Grace. Sounds like a plan. I guess I'm going to take the trophy now. Goliath. Oh, there's some more stuff to be taken, too. Ooh, greater red mutagen. Just like that, huh? And a sword. My first sword of the DLC that I will not use. Let's check it out. Dahlia. Silver sword, 150 armor piercing, 50% critical hit chance, and a 10% critical hit bonus. Pretty good sword. Way better than what I have. Oh, this guy's dead. Yeah, he's toast. There's a dead horse. Sorry about that horse. Anything in these buildings up here? Let's just check real quick before we uh, make our way down to... Ooh, some nice wine. False teeth, huh? Must be something you can, like, break down to make material with. More wine. Well, he did say it was the land of wine and love or something, so... Anything in here? Locked. Nope. Um, it's just Briona. Okay. Yep, this place looks like uh, mostly just eye candy. All right. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time we will go to where the, n the newest murder has taken place and investigate, see if we can find any clues about this beast. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.